Well, I'm here at the white barn with the green roof, and uh, I want to talk today about three types of farmers, and there's really four types. Uh, we'll actually touch on uh, all four of them here for just a little bit. The first uh, farmer is the big time operator. They've got the thousands of acres, equipment that costs uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not more, and uh, you know, they're uh farming thousands of acres the they're just what around here we would refer to as a a big time operator and that's not to be taken as a negative it just is what it is the second type of farmer is a hobby farmer and that's a person that uh you know they're just they're just farming for a, a hobby they're not into it to uh uh in practical terms to make a profit uh, it's kind of like uh, you know a hobby farming to me is kind of like uh, fishing you know you can get a bass boat and some nice fishing or maybe you're golfing you buy some nice clubs maybe you buy a golf cart I don't know but uh, there's no realization that uh, after you've spent your money that you're necessarily going to make it all back or part of it so uh, to me, hobby farming uh, says my expenses uh, will outpace whatever revenue I get. So I'm mainly into it for the enjoyment. And you know, whether you're a big time operator or a hobby farmer, uh, you can derive enjoyment out of whatever you're doing. It's just that in hobby farming, you're just not, uh, in my mind, making money. The third, the third type farmer in my mind is the farmer that loses his shirt farming. And it can be no fault of their own, or it could be that uh, they were poor cash flow managers. Uh, it can be a small farmer, a big time farmer, uh, it can be a hobby farmer, you know. But uh, for whatever reason, uh, financially things don't work out and they lose it all. That's the third type of farmer. The fourth type farmer, and the farmer I want to talk about, uh, and we'll be talking about a lot in uh, the videos here on this channel, is the farmer that uh, he makes a profit, but uh, you know he doesn't farm huge acreage, and uh, uh, the he doesn't uh, you know he doesn't have the newest of new, the biggest of big equipment, but uh, somehow he managed to to turn uh, a profit and it may not be every year but uh, there is a profit motive involved and uh, uh, hopefully more often than not uh, they they you know they turn up they turn a profit and you know it can be uh, something you enjoy just like a just like a hobby farm or a big time operator farm but the goal is to uh, make money. It's not to lose your shirt. Uh, you know, you're you're farming. You're not playing golf, and uh, uh, you know you've got crops that you got to get in, uh, responsibilities that you have in order to farm, and uh, and so you're 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 too big to be a hobby. You're too small to be a big time operator, and you're still a float. So you know you. You're, uh, you haven't lost your shirt in farming, and hopefully you won't. Our farm fits into the small farm that uh, does turn a profit, and uh, we're definitely not a hobby farmer, and uh, we're definitely not a big-time operator, and so... I'm going to have some videos uh, coming. Uh, uh, not sure what the timeline will be on them and, or what order, but uh, there'll be, uh, you know, videos on cash flow, profit. Uh, you know, what what's the magic number for spending uh, for capital equipment, like buying a tractor uh, like this Massey Ferguson, you know? What is the magic number that a small farm like ours can uh, pencil out and turn a profit or more uh, down to the 
down to the core, you know, how much can you spend uh, in a year before it starts making you nervous? Maybe sometimes you need to spend more. Sometimes you can get away with less. Sometimes you don't need to spend uh, any money at all. So, uh, anyway, again, here at the uh, White Barn with the green roof, and, uh, and we'll talk about some of these topics going forward. So, the big-time operator, the hobby farmer, uh, the farmer that's lost his shirt, and the small farmer uh, that's turning a profit, uh, that's kind of where we sit, and uh, so... Stay tuned, uh, there'll be more videos coming, and uh, we'll talk to you later.